Last one here, Mark Roseman, Sports Talk New York. Afternoon, Coach. You, you mentioned um, about the exhibition games coming up and the the um, depth that you're going to need going forward. When you look at this exhibition schedule and the guys that are on that bubble, what is it exactly that you're looking for? And what is the mix between the exhibition season and the practice that weighs into your final decision for that final roster spots? Well, uh, guys are being evaluated every every day. If you think that we come into the into the room, coaching room, and don't talk about, you know, who had a good day, who didn't have a good day, what did you like about this player, or that player? We do that. We're evaluating all the time. We're evaluating, you know, is is a player, uh, you know, getting what we're 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 teaching, if you will, in terms of that. So that tells you a little bit about his his IQ, hockey IQ, in terms of putting the, you know, the pieces together from a systematic standpoint. Is this guy a driven player? Is he a detailed player? Um, you know, is he, where is he really good? Like right now we've, you know, we do a lot of, of stuff on breakouts and four checkers and they're all set up. So there's not a lot of time and space. So we're making it really difficult for a defenseman to break out a puck, for instance, uh, you know, and, and some defensemen may get a little frustrated and going, you know, I can't get the puck out and, and start doubting them. That's what we want to create. We want to create a lot of those those real high pressure situations where they don't have a lot of time and space to to make a play. And if the, the play that they make, is it a good play or is it a, not, a bad play? We, we, you know, obviously we film our practices. We, we look over a couple of the drills that will illustrate that. Um, and if we're unsure, we go back and look at it again. And, and uh, the scrimmages, the, the, the game, games, the exhibition games matter. And it matters for a lot of those guys that are on the bubble. You know, uh, you know, there's guys like, you know, uh, uh, guys that have a lot of games, Andy Green, uh, Chara, you know, a lot of guys that have a lot of experience in this league. I, I use that back end. I'm not too worried about how they play. I know when the when it's uh, the time to go, they're just they're preparing. They've been in this a long time, um, and most of our guys, uh, you know, are not too worried about our veteran group. But that the next group is getting the right order, and what can they bring, and who can they replace if someone gets injured? Uh, what elements of our club do we need to to shore up? I mean, you know, Cal Clutterbuck goes down. You know, is is that a uh, you know? who fills that spot if Casey goes down who fills that spot if uh, you know uh, Anthony Bavillier goes down who would fill that spot and so I'm trying to play some of those guys uh, example uh, today uh, a guy like Kulishev who is a um, if you watch he's got a you know, really good skill set he's got lots of speed he's got good uh, hockey IQ and intelligence and I, I put him with Matt Barzell and Anders Lee and to see can he play in that role and today he did nothing uh that says that he couldn't uh, you know based on practice now we, we have to play real games to figure that out but that's the process i'm trying to go through who can fill what spot and as we go along here i'm gonna like tomorrow i might move one or two guys not necessarily because they haven't performed well but i want to see how they react if i do move them into a different spot because some guys don't react well and that's going to be very important to find out about them and uh, so we may do some of that tomorrow.